Hey guys, so in this video I'm going to show you three things. I'm going to show you how to input chord symbols above the staff as lead sheet notation, chord symbols below the staff as your Roman numeral analysis, and then how to do some simple note entry on the staff. All right, so let's start with chord symbols. So to enter a chord symbol, you're just going to click on any note value where you want to add that above the staff. So if I click it there, it'll line up with beat one, or you can line it up with one beat two, or even in the middle of a beat. So click on the note value first, click add, text, and then scroll down to chord symbol. And you see there's also a shortcut here, command K for entering a chord symbol, if you want to memorize that and do it quicker. Um, but otherwise just hit chord symbol. And then you can just start typing in your chord symbol above the staff. I'm going to type in A major 7 here. If you've got slash notation, you're going to hit a slash after it. And then you can type in whatever, whatever is in your base. If it's C sharp, I could type it like this. If you do the pound sign for sharp, it'll automatically convert it into a sharp sign. If it's a flat, do the little B, and it'll automatically convert that into a flat once you click away from the chord. So in this case, my chord's root position, so I'm going to leave it just like that. Now, once you enter your chord symbol, if you don't click away from it, if you just hit the space bar, it'll automatically go onto the second, the next beat in the measure. In this case, I'm in 6 8, so I only have two beats, so it goes on to beat two. Click the space bar again, beat one, beat two. Again, I can quickly enter my chord symbols this way by just clicking through the space bar. So you can do it pretty fast once you get going, like that. Um, if at any point I accidentally I click away from it, so I'm no longer entering my notes, I can always just double click and then continue typing away. Um, or um, if you want to, if you get lost and you just want to add another chord symbol, you can click on any note, Command K to enter your chord symbol if you'd like. Um, or I can copy paste my chord symbols if I want to enter them that way. If you make a copy of a chord, Command C to copy or edit cut or copy, and you see paste is up here as well, I can do copy and then click on any note value and paste it that way as well. And to get rid of it, just click on it and then hit delete. All right, so then to enter your Roman numeral analysis below, you're going to do the same thing. You're going to click on a note value first in the measure, but in this case we want it below the staff, so click on the bottom note value in your bass clef staff, go up to add, text, and this is where we found chord symbol, Roman numeral analysis is right below it. Click on that. And then you can just start typing in your Roman numeral. So in this case, I've got a 1-7 chord, so I'm going to do shift I to get the uppercase one. If I didn't do the shift, it'll give you lower case, lowercase. So shift I, and then type in your figure. If there is one, in this case, it's a seventh chord, so I'm going to type in a seven, and it will automatically do it superscript. If it's inverted, um, like a 6-5 chord or 4-3, if you just type the numbers in, it will automatically line them up for you. There's nothing fancy that you need to do. So I'm just typing one seven. Now it works the same way as the chord symbols above the staff. If you hit the space bar, it goes to the next beat. And so I can kind of quickly scoot through and enter in my chord symbols like this. And you can also, same way, you can copy and paste, command C, command V to paste if you'd like, or, um, yep, or just click on any measure and add them in again. Um, so I also want to say, I've got my Roman numerals here, I want to say that we're in the key of A. So I want to add the little A colon here to add some staff text for anything that you want to do. If you want to annotate your score or any kind of text that you want to add, if you click on a note value and we go up to add text again, but this time instead of scrolling down to the chord symbols, you see up here there's some options here for staff text. Um, so if I hit command T, It'll allow me to enter some staff text here. You also see there's another option for lyrics. If you're entering lyrics, make sure you use that because it'll, it'll line things up with your note values. It's a lot nicer. But for simple staff text, command T or click here. Now this isn't where I want it to go, but it's okay. I can always move it. I'm just gonna type A colon. And if I click off of it, I can now just move this anywhere I want. In this case, I want it right there. Now I happen to, in advance, color all my Roman numerals. My settings are to make them blue and to make them a little larger. The way I did that, and the way I'm going to change this so it's also blue and the same size, if you click on anything and then you go into your palettes over here, you got your regular palettes for clefts, you see there's an option here for properties. You can change the property of any element. So I can, for instance, make the font a little bit bigger if I'd like. I can do bold, italics, underline. 
If I click on appearance, I can actually change the color of it this way. And so that's up to you. If you want to do anything fancy, you can edit the properties of any element by clicking on it. That's what I did for my Roman numerals also. Okay, so I've got my I've got my Roman numerals in and my chord symbols in. So now I just want to add in some, I want to do some simple voice leading here. So I've already been given the first two measures. So I want to voice lead a D major seven chord after that. So to enter notes in, you're just going to click and uh, click on the measure where you want. You're going to go up to this pencil icon um, to add your notation. And you see there's also um, a shortcut that says for N. If you just type N, that will also work. But if you hit the pencil icon, that'll allow me to start entering notation. And then you're going to select whatever note value you want. In this case, I want a dotted half note. So if you click on the half note and then you click the dotted icon, this will add a dot to any of these note values. And then you can just click in the measure wherever you want it to go. So I'm going to add my bass note in. And then I'm going to add in some upper voices here like this. Now, if I'm done entering notes and I don't want to add anything else here, if you just click on N, your shortcut, that'll go away. Or you can click on the pencil icon. And now I can just click off the measure anywhere I want to continue working if I'd like to. Um, since I just I want this chord to be repeated in this measure, I can enter my notes again or I can copy and paste what I've got. So if you click in any measure, anywhere within the measure and do command C to copy or edit, copy, paste, copy, and then command V to paste, it'll paste my measure over. Roman numerals are tied to the base note, so you see it'll copy that also, but I can always just delete that if I'd like. Or if I want to copy both of these measures to here, if you click on any measure and then shift click, it'll, it'll grab everything that you've got in between. Command C, Command V to paste, I can get rid of that if I'd like. And then I see my A major and my D major chord gets repeated again for two bars. So I could just click, shift click to select everything. Command C to copy, Command V to paste like that and then I don't have to keep going I'm gonna get rid of the extra stuff here you notice again it, it grabs my Roman numerals so be careful you know that when you paste that you, you want to include everything there all right and then instead if you've got some accidentals that you need to add if you click on any note and you see up here you've got your flat or your sharps you can just click on those it'll add that um, if you click off and you click it if it was a mistake you can always just delete it or if you click on any note and you do the up or down arrow on your keyboard, it'll, whoops, raise or lower it. And it may or may not add the accidental, kind of depends on the key. Um, but that's one way you can also do it. Um, or if you just want to move notes up and down, you can do it that way. If I made a mistake, I can always just grab notes and just move them around if I like. That'll work too. All right. Um, if you need to do rests, if I want to rest in the measure instead, um, if I'm doing my note entry, if you click on the rest sign, it'll make any of these note values a rest. So if I want an eighth rest and I've got my rest selected, that'll give me a rest. If I click off of it, now I'm inputting notes again like that. All right. And if you want to hear what you've got, just to see if it sounds good, if you click in any of your measures and then you hit the space bar, it'll start playing your example for you so you can hear how it sounds. All right, so that's some basic chord entry and note entry. Good luck with your projects.